Can you tell us some of the issues that are particular to the Asian American community in the election? Well, I think one of the biggest ones is immigration. Obviously, uh, Donald Trump has made that uh, the number one issue that he's running on, building a wall. We obviously think that a wall is not only logically uh, unnecessary, but it, symbolically, you're putting a wall around this country that's all about diversity. As Asian Americans, most of us are still foreign born, and we still have lots of family there. So we have to make sure that we have comprehensive immigration reform that includes family unification. A lot of the Bernie Sanders supporters are really disappointed that some of them feel like they haven't been treated fairly. And then a lot of the Clinton supporters, the Clinton delegates, feel like the Sanders people have been messing things up. Uh, how do you feel about how things have been going between the two camps? Well, it's always a tough situation when you have a contested race. And I was in the primary myself, so I understand how it feels when you either win or lose in a contested race. Having said that, though, I think we have to really focus on what do we have in common? Not so much what do we have in divisions. There are personality issues, there are certainly stylistic issues, there are certainly message issues, but ultimately the core function of the Democratic Party is to fight for diversity, for as many different causes that help as many different people as possible. And I think on the finer issues of things like TPP and fracking, those are obviously legislation that have different complexities. So I think Hillary's going to be somebody who's going to be there, uh, hold on to that common core, common beliefs, common principles, and fight for the most progressive versions of whatever bills Congress will put together. Within the Asian American community, is the Bernie Hillary thing causing any friction or are people getting along? There are some. Uh, in fact, one of the leaders of the uh, uh, Bernie Sanders movement is a Korean American. And I had a long conversation with her last night, and I just saw her in the California delegation. I, I respect where she's coming from. I really do. I think part of this is that the Hillary uh, supporters have been in politics a little bit longer, just in terms of the experience. So they're used to the idea of winning and losing as opposed to uh, uh, some of our friends in the Bernie Sanders campaign who joined, this is their first campaign. So there's certainly some, some uh, raw energy, raw nerves. And I think if they can understand that in the long run, 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, we're all trying to fight for the same cause. Some, some of us want it a little bit faster than others, but ultimately we're going in the same direction. And one last thing I'll say, I, I love Mr. Sanders. I, I feel the burn all the time. In fact, my former campaign manager ran uh, Sa Sanders' campaign in Virginia, and his uh, headquarters in Northern Virginia was in my district. So I've been a, a strong supporter of what Mr. Sanders is trying to do. What he's trying to do doesn't need one leader. It needs many of us to lead. And so I jo asked him to join us, not just the Hillary campaign. I asked him to join us, the Democratic Party, so that we can build the strongest team possible, because we are stronger together.